What's up, people? I am working on the Miata. Spent some money, and now we are boosted. Woo! So, um, this is a 1.6 eBay turbo kit that came with supposedly everything, but I was shorted, but they fixed it. I will give them that. They did fix it pretty fast. It came with this interesting intercooler with the old V... I don't even see that. Uh, v groove or whatever. Um, not too shabby for what it is. Uh, fins are kind of thin, but then again, it is what it is. It's eBay. Um, so they sent me rusty gaskets. I guess they rusted on the boat, but it also came with all metal gaskets, but it doesn't have the hole for the wastegate. Uh, I was shorted the firing, this guy here. If you don't run this, you're going to lose a lot of boost. And then the uh, portholes are, aren't are centered. And the nipple hardware that it comes with um, pretty much blocks it. And then the other thing is, the other ads I saw for these guys, or uh, the wastegates, say it comes with an 8-pound spring. It comes with like an 18-pound two springs you got to take out one of the springs why it comes preloaded with two springs i don't know but yeah buyer beware that you might overboost. tear it apart double check the springs and then like this one i had to drill like i said because that nipple was going to block it so i just got this hand tied in here so that is going to cover the other holes or the ones that I aren't drilled out, but I have a spare wastegate now. Uh, fitment issues that I have that brake line there needs to be relocated, the heater hose needs to be re relocated. Um, I got a shorter oil line because on the back of the blocks here on the 16s, there's an oil passage, so I'm just going to loop it over to here. So I bought a 90 degree oil line, the other one is a straight. I have more than enough clearance here for that, but I wanted a cleaner look. And then what was the other issues I had? Um, I don't know if I made a video yet or not of me accidentally drilling through my oil pickup tube, trying to put the oil line in the middle. I'll insert picture here. So that's the look I was going for, and I achieved it, but I had to drop my subframe to take the pan off and weld up the, the pickup tube and finish tapping it and everything. So now it looks neater that it doesn't snake all the way to the front. Um, insert picture here, I guess. So uh, like Flying Miata and other people, they're tapping the front part of the oil pan where there's no pickup because it's actually in the center and then goes out towards the driver's side. So I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah. So for fun, here's the intercooler with the elbows. So you kind of get the idea what I'm shooting for. Make a hole here, that boot goes through it. And then I just need a short piece of pipe. Same thing on this side. It's already got a hole almost. And now oh, these boots aren't pushed all the way in. But yeah, just need a shwomp into the intake. So here's my elbow. It might come pretty close. And then it came with the uh, Blitz uh, sequential knockoff. This should be interesting. I usually bought, or no, the, I'm sorry, this is the HKS knockoff. I usually buy the uh, Blitz knockoff because I felt they were less likely to leak. Um, oh, for shits and giggles, here's that second spring that hides in the wastegate. So the wastegate has a bigger outer one that's softer, and then the stiff guy in combined, it's a lot of uh, spring pressure. So overall, I am kind of happy how things are going. So I've you know, got my idea in my head of how it's going to look. This will be hiding in here. I just need to make sure I got enough clearance on the latch. And 
get to make a new exhaust for it because the other exhaust, uh, well, that was $15 of leftovers. Um, now that I'm boosting, I need to go to two and a half at least for happy noise sounds. And yeah, that is it, people. Um, I hope this video isn't too long for you guys. Sorry I don't show the work, but it'd be fucking 20 hours of garbage of me thinking of what's what and messing up shit. But there we go, people. That is what it looks like, what I'm doing, the concept. Um, if you're wondering what happened to the Tahoe slash um, the LS swap, um, I fixed the car and... It eats way too much gas. So I fixed the minivan. So now the minivan's fine. So I sold the Tahoe to pay some bills and shit like that. So I took some of that money and hence the turbo. So I can make two-ish hopefully with the right injectors and decent tune. Um, if I go throw some rods on this and E85 the piss out of it, like a, is it the Car Passion Channel? That guy's making 540 boosted on a 1.8. So Shit, if I can make three on this, that'll be fucking enough fun as is. But then again, hey, who knows? Maybe uh, I'll work a boatload of overtime, get a raise. I don't know. And then maybe we'll boost this, or not boost it, uh, LS swap it. It is set up uh, frame-wise. I already clearanced it. Glad I clearanced it because I don't think that downpipe would have cleared uh, if I still the stock uh, Miata webbing there. So as you see, mine is squared off. Come on, light. I nipped all that out. I think it would have cleared, but hey, yeah. Better for me. So I may not use that. I might move it lower because that's pretty close to the hot side. I don't know uh, if AM wants their uh, O2 sensor like right off the turbo, but uh. Once again, people, that is what I'm doing. Um, thank you for uh, subscribing, liking, sharing, and I'll let you know uh, how this thing does. Until next time, peace out.